The Trump administration is ramping up pressure on Congress to pass the United States-Mexico trade agreement. KCAU9's Anna Warnicke reports on the hurdles the bill still faces in Congress. We are good to go. New York Republican Congressman Tom Reed says if Congress voted on the USMCA today, it would pass. And we would have an updated Mexico-Canada agreement where our farmers and our, our manufacturers and our auto suppliers and our auto industry would immediately benefit. But he says the holdup is one Democrat. It all rests in one person's hand, and that's the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Speaker Pelosi says she still has concerns about whether the trade deal goes far enough to protect American American workers and the environment. Pelosi says she also worries that a piece of the agreement could raise drug prices for U.S. consumers. But Texas Republican Congressman Will Hurd says those issues are being worked out behind the scenes. Over the last few days, some senior Democrats have expressed a little bit of concern in the ability to pass this. But I think uh, Speaker Pelosi and our U.S. Trade Representative um, have ha been having some good conversations. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer unveiled an updated U.S. MCA to Congress last week, but Pelosi has not said if the changes will be enough to bring the deal to the floor for a vote. Mexico has passed this. Canada is ready to go. You know, it's in our court. Uh, in the American court in order to get it done. It's time to get it done. Reed says he is optimistic Congress will pass the deal by the end of October. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.